Strategic management largely determines which organisations succeed and which ones struggle. Effectiveness of the strategies that managers choose and how effectively they execute them help explain why companies like Facebook and Amazon are thriving. Strategies explore how Facebook and Instagram killed MySpace and changed social networking, and why Apple is outperforming Microsoft in the world of mobile computing. Every organisation is concerned with strategy and strategic blunders can hurt organisations. Managers formulate and implement strategies, not just tactics, and find ways to respond to competitors, cope with difficult environmental changes, and meet changing customer needs. Strategic planning has taken on a new importance in today's world of globalisation, deregulation, advancing technology, changing demographics and lifestyles. Managers are responsible for positioning their organisations for success in a world that is constantly changing by thinking strategically. Strategic thinking means to take a long-term view and to see the big picture, including the organisation and the competitive environment, and consider how they fit together. The ability to juggle and manage long-term goals as well as short-term steps towards such goals is an important part of strategy. Strategic thinking is necessary for business and non-for-profit organisations. In for-profit firms, strategic planning typically pertains to competitive actions in the marketplace. In non-profit organisations, strategic planning pertains to events in the external environment or achieving social goals. Research has shown that strategic thinking and planning positively affect a firm's performance and financial success. Most firms have formal strategic planning processes. Performing company strategic thinking and planning is a top management priority for an organisation to succeed. Executives must be actively involved in making tough choices and trade-offs that define and support the strategy. Senior executives as well as middle and lower managers also need to think strategically. Understanding the strategy concepts and the levels of strategy is an important step towards strategic thinking in an organisation. The first step in strategic management is to define an explicit strategy, which is the plan of action that describes resource allocation and activities, dealing with the environment, achieving a competitive advantage and attaining the organisation's goals. The competitive advantage refers to what sets the organisation apart from others and what is its distinctive edge or vision. There are two parts to management strategy. One is the formulation of strategy and the other is the execution of strategy or implementation of strategy. Strategy formulation is about making decisions and developing the plan, aligning it to the direction of the organisation and making decisions about how these will be achieved. Strategy implementation is the use of tools to direct resources towards accomplishing these goals. Strategy often fails during implementation Implementation of strategy is the hardest part of strategy management. What management decisions are you going to make that will make your organisation form different activities to execute the strategy or plan in different ways to your competitors? Good strategies target customers. Businesses with superior strategies will understand who their target market is, what they need, understand the influencing factors such as brand, reputation, trust, and they will also know the organisation's distinct advantages. Understanding the business's core competence is also an important part of management strategy. What is the organisation's theme that sets itself apart in comparison to its competitors? This is something that high-performing managers exploit for their business. Strategy also takes advantage of any synergies in your organisation, synergy refers to the interaction of parts that produce a joint effort greater than the sum of the parts. This combination may attain a special advantage for your organisation in respect to cost, market power, technology or management skill. Synergy can create additional value with existing resources, providing a boost to the bottom line. 
Delivering value to the customer is at the heart of strategy. Value can be defined as the combination of benefits received and costs paid. Managers help their companies create value by devising strategies that exploit the core competency and attain synergy. Understanding what value means to your customer is an important part of strategy development. Strategy can be conducted at different levels. Firstly, at the corporate level, then at the business level, and finally at the functional level. Corporate level strategy relates to the organisation as a whole and the combination of business units and products that make up the corporate entity. Strategic actions at this level usually relate to the acquisition of new business, divestments of plants or product lines, the creation of joint ventures in other areas, or the development of new areas of business. At the business level strategy, each business unit or product line makes strategic decisions about things such as advertising, direction, extensive research and development, new product development, equipment facilities, and expansion or contraction of service lines. And finally, at the functional level, functional level strategy relates to the major departments within a business unit. Functional strategies usually include things such as finance, marketing, manufacturing and research within the business unit. The strategic management process begins when executives evaluate the current position with respect to the organisation's missions, goals and strategies. The management team then conducts internal and external scans and identifies strategic issues that require change. Often this may require a redefinition of the company's goals or missions or the development of new strategies at the corporate business or functional levels. This may also require a new plan, the realignment of resources or changing company direction. The strategic process concludes with the implementation of strategy and evaluation and then feedback into the beginning of the next strategic cycle. One of the tools that is often used by management teams to understand the external and the internal environment is a SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis involves key decision makers reviewing the strengths of the organisation, the weaknesses, the threats and the opportunities in the current state of the environment. Strategic management is something that means medium to large organisations must continually refine, reflect and assess the points that are in the SWOT. There are also other tools that organisations can use to assess and plan their strategy. Another example is the ABC diagram. This planning tool is used to assess the current and future states of the organisation and determine what and how a future state can be achieved. Managers who are skilled in strategy manage complicated plans and navigate the complexity of delivery with finesse. Managers skilled in strategy are good at a number of different things. They understand when to make a decision. They absorb information for the decision-making process and analyse and diagnose the cause of any issues. They deal with risk and ambiguity. They make decisions. They can assess and develop alternative solutions. They understand how to select the best solution to fulfil the optimal requirements in ambiguous circumstances. They are able to implement chosen alternatives. They seek evaluation and feedback to assist and improve in future situations. These managers also have advanced communication skills, they understand people, they have the ability to collaborate and be inclusive, they use their intuition, they're fair and equitable, they're visible and accessible to their staff, they provide clear roles and accountability to achieve outcomes, they are truthful and have clear and candid conversations and ensure appropriate human resource practices are utilised. Today's managers will also ensure sustainability and ethical accountability as key elements of their toolkit. These competencies are also articulated in the decision-making process diagram.